Now that we have the concept of components of vectors, we can redefine the way we add vectors, and we can also introduce an another operation called scalar multiplication. Adding vectors algebraically. Let's say we have two vectors given to us in component form. So u is u1, u2, and vector v is v1, v2. What would their sum be? Well, the sum is u1 plus v1. You add the, t the first components and then u2 plus v2. You add the second components. So you're adding the two vectors component-wise. Now, I also want to introduce the idea of the zero vector. The zero vector is the vector with components 0, 0, has zero length. This vector has the property that you can add it to any other vector and get that vector back. So u plus the zero vector is u, and the zero vector plus u is u. Vectors act in many ways like real numbers in terms of their algebra, but they're not identical to real numbers in terms of their algebra. They are a little bit different. One of the differences is uh, multiplication of vectors is a little harder. And so the first kind of multiplication I want to talk about is scalar multiplication. Now you remember that a scalar is a quantity that only has magnitude, not direction. So we're going to be multiplying vectors by scalars. And that's going to look like this. If k is a real number, and u is some vector, u1, u2, then the scalar multiple k times u is going to be defined as k u1 comma k u2. So you just multiply the scalar through each of the components, kind of like distribution. Let's see what scalar multiplication does in an example. So let's say u is negative 3, 1, and I've actually graphed this vector here. So negative 3, 1 looks like that. What would 3 times u be? Well, according to this definition, I multiply the 3 inside and I get negative 9, 3 times 1, 3. So that's 3 times u. Negative 2 times u, I'd multiply negative 2 times negative 3 and I get 6. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2, 6, negative 2. And 0, the scalar 0 times vector u is going to be 0 times negative 3, 0, and 0 times 1, 0. And that, of course, is the 0 vector. So the scalar 0 times any vector gives you the 0 vector. Just keep in mind that these two zeros are different. This is the, the real number 0, and that's the vector 0. Now just to let you know what the, this, some of these vectors look like, let me plot negative 2 times u. Its components are 6, negative 2. So it goes 6 to the right and 2 down. So it's going to end here. So notice that this vector is going to end up being twice as long as u. So this is negative 2 times u. It's twice as long, but it's in the opposite direction. And it's opposite because the coefficient k is negative in this case. And that'll always happen. Whenever you multiply a vector by a negative number, you'll reverse its direction. So, Scalar multiplication can lengthen or shorten a vector, and it can reverse its direction. But if we multiply by a positive constant, we always get a vector in the same direction.